Hello there guys, Plasm here. Welcome back to Pokemon Let's Play Arceus. Let's not let's play Legends Arceus. So, you say the Galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. Yep. What, you'll mash up Cleaver's favorite food, food in the ball and throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. Galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them. As promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Yorda. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy Key. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. Those Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values, so prove yourself to be worthy to stay in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. As you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Yes. This is a good fight matchup. Uh. Oh no, fire is strong in games. Oh, you are screwed. That's a Pokemon leveled up. Ooh, new moves. I see now. Pokemon is simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon wounds. Oh, thank you. Now, I'll explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll match Cleaver's favorite foods together and ball them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. It will help soothe Cleaver's frenzy. Let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. Da da. There, a veritable mountain of balms. This should. Please, Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, grab yourself and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite foods. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heaven and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Plasm, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Crush out.
you claim victory against Noble Pokemon as well as Frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it. Frenzy gates to be to zero. If you manage a grand opening in the Noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and Noble Guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so let's throw as many as you can. <laughs> Thing that's really effective if I can do it Gotcha. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of experience. Use insect plate. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type to move. Getting all kinds of sounds. What, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's friendly mind truly been up at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, I know the strange lightning came from out of the space time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him to a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space time rift? But if Almighty Soa does really does dwell beyond the space tower, then the strange lightning is indeed the Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! 
calm yourself, Leon. Remember that Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeper of keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Wood power is sent up by the true Almighty Sin will have driven Cleaver to turn us, attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. But Plasma accomplished just now. It indeed had to be done. I'm glad we can settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frizzy, please help them. Yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the pro plan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. Citrus berries. Let me care for your Pokemon as well. The appreciation for fighting on my behalf. I think I finally came to believe you truly did follow this guide, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though. Between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a friendly again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Alrighty. Okay, so it does tell us how much we have in our thing. BB chokes are handy. Dude, have I been this way? I have been. Yikes. That is Ooh, so my chops. That's for you to fight.
you know what I mean. Sky tumble stone. I actually need that. Discard that. Let's go deeper down into the cave. Level nine, ten, six, four. Ah, oh, Lord Cleaver, you say? Well done, bravo, my boy. Time to head back to the village and report to the commander. Come. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are the two fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. I see there's some letters carved in them. Let's see, this one says, where all creation was born. That is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so I've given two plates when you impress Wyatter and Cleaver. That's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across the suite. If we were to gather them all and cipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. 
the mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Speaking of... Yeah, none of my Pokemon are compatible. Uh... Oh, there's some side quests to so pick up. Yeah, let's not take you. Where is my water Pokemon at? Boozy let <laughs> the side up's pretty decent as well. For now, I have to excite up. I like to know where my other Boozeal is. Guys, if you like this video, give us one a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Comment what you think and subscribe for future videos. This has been Leo signing off. I'll s this has been Plasm signing off. I'll see you guys next time.